Irish game. We had Jamaica just to score the other night. Um, little, little did many people know that Jamaica have never scored. But we put our money down and they got their first Copa America goal. Jamaica plus 320. Venezuela minus 110. Sitting with six points out of six and have been... They want to go and buy a lottery ticket. They've been that lucky, Brad. Uh, first, first game they play against 10 men and the opposing keeper chucks a couple in after being 1-0 down to 10 men. Then they play Mexico, go 1-0 up, give away an 88th minute penalty. And that... That gets missed as well. Draw plus 245, but I can't go near Jamaica. I think that they are below, below average. Venezuela getting lucky, Brad getting unlucky. That match was garbage between Mexico, and I so get true. the penalty call that I want. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to cash both teams to score and walk out of here a winner. Mexico also should have given that corner, the, uh, the PK to Chavez, in, in my opinion. We know Santi was off the pitch. Um, they end up missing. I can't remember who took the penalty. That's how mad I was that Chavez wasn't taking it, leader of your team there. Um, Venezuela, they're going to win the group. Who would have thought, right? Like, especially we talked about Venezuela maybe four, six years ago. Venezuela winning their group, going on to the next stage. Like, that wasn't a thing for them. Uh, good fortune in tournaments, especially when you're only playing three games in a group stage. Good fortune sometimes uh, it, it outweighs uh, the skill on the pitch. But this this group hasn't been all that great. Uh, Jamaica, really poor. And we we tried to be excited about this Jamaican team but they're just not good right like uh, against Ecuador they know they need to get some shots up they know they need to to to, to get good balls in good areas they they do well maintaining possession obviously because Ecuador are up two goals uh, by halftime right like they don't they 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 don't need to be dominating possession only able to muster up seven shots in that match um i i didn't look up the big chances but if I were to guess there were only two big chances by Jamaica, I'll, I could look that up later if anybody wants to know it. But no now we're playing a game it. that's useless. Venezuela, yeah. what they're, how I think Venezuela, and this is just totally my opinion here, but how I think Venezuela have kind of turned that corner is being strong defensively, knowing that if they can build the base of their team, if they can kind of start regrowing their nation to where they want to be as a soccer federation – it starts from the from from being a strong defensive unit, especially uh, when you play in tournaments like Copa America, um, where you need where there's not going to be much of a margin for error. Uh, so I think they just shut the door on Jamaica. But I couldn't I couldn't bet them in a positive light. Draw no bets minus two fifty uh, for them to win is minus one ten. I was even going to think about taking Rondon shots. Yeah, right. We can no longer take over two and a half anymore. It's mine. It's over three and a half, and it's juiced. So for me, it was a total stay away. Um, this Jamaica team just is not good. They're not going to create enough chances. Um, if you if you're daring, right? If you think Jamaica gets something out of this game, somehow uh, they pull a Georgia versus versus Portugal, where Venezuela make uh, upwards of of five to eight uh, changes in their lineup to try to stay healthy for the next round. Then you just take Jamaica money line at plus three twenty, plus three fifty. But I don't think that's happening. I think Venezuela are going to be really excited about this. They're going to shut the door on Jamaica and try to uh, try to keep them out of the back of the net. Uh, yeah, I don't know how you can go anywhere near it because you've got an underdog who's looking to basically win the group, which would yeah. have not been in their wildest dreams, even though they have been trending towards... They've been getting better and better and belief, and, and obviously that does breed uh, confidence. And talking about trending, trending today says Messi, four shots on target. Well, trending, you will not be trending because Messi's not playing. Um, <laughs> you're also not going to be trending because you've gone Jamaica money line and over three and a half. They've just scored Oof. their first goal ever in Copa America. So, uh, trending back to school for you. Um, Dan, I, I, I don't know. I've put both teams to score no. The draw I, plus I'm, 245. I don't like any of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because that would be the only look for me. I mean, look, look at that price. I mean, Flash, you said it. Jamaica finally scored a goal and now they're over a half goal is minus 175. Woof. Overreaction is uh, is the you know the definition Country. of it is in that pricing. So uh, yeah, guys, I think we already talked about this game too long. The only look for me would be both teams to score. No, congratulations to Jamaica getting the first goal. This is their Super Bowl. Do the reggae boys get it done again? Uh, maybe. And when I say get it done, it means finally find the back of the net. <laughs> I'm not betting on it though. And the juice not worth the squeeze for me. Minus 125 on both teams to score. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna watch a different game on, on the telly for, uh, for for this one. 
Brad. I don't know if I'm gonna be locked in for Jamaica, Venezuela. No, no, ju <laughs> no juice because there's no squeeze because <laughs> there's no way I want to be anywhere near this game. Although I will have to watch it because obviously I want to see how Venezuela actually cope. It's almost like True. a horse who loves to come from behind. And now all of a sudden he has to be the front runner. He, we may get like a, a team that's looking around and don't put their best foot forward. Um, Jamaica, this is, uh, this is going to sum them up. They cannot find each other with a map or a compass, and their biggest weapon is a six foot four defender's long throw into the box. So come on now. If that's where you want to put your money, then you're welcome to it. But you see where it says Brad, Flash, and Dan, that's normally flicks over and tells you our picks. That ain't moving. There is nothing coming, there is nothing hidden behind our names. 